Diana and Russia are closer to signing an agreement that would see an impact on the drug trade. Julia Johnson has the details. The Home Affairs Ministry and its counterpart in Russia are in the final stages of two agreements that could see collaboration for training and the fight against the narco trade. Yesterday, a delegation from the Russian Home Affairs Ministry met Home Affairs Minister Clement Rohi. The minister disclosed that the sides are at the stage of finalizing the text of the agreements. It is now a question of us finally determining whether that text is suitable to both sides. What is contained in the text? The text basically has to do with uh, cooperation between the two sides, you know, what the Ministry of Home Affairs does in Guyana, what the Ministry of Home Affairs does in Russia. Uh, exchanges, exchange visits, exchange of information, documentation, and things like that. He also spoke of the state of the anti-narco agreement. There is also a, a draft agreement between our two countries that is now being considered by the two sides. They have a special agency that is responsible under the office of President Putin to deal with uh, cooperation on narcotics. He disclosed that the anti-narcotics agreement is at the negotiation stage, but he feels that there could be a general agreement by year-end. And to determine how do we proceed with ratification and eventually sign. Guyana has been named as a transshipment point for illegal drugs destined for North America and Europe. However, the local authorities have been hard-pressed to convict any of the so-called major players in the local courts. Even the United States, that has named several Guyanese involved in the illegal drug trade, seem to rely in snagging them outside of Guyana. Reporting for Prime News, Julia Johnson.